They keep bringing my name up because they know I have a lot of evidence on him. There are things I cannot share right now, um, but I assure you in March, it'll all come out. And um, yeah, that's about all I can say on that. Um, how did my relationship with Marion and Lolo start? Well, Justin, as you know, um, worked with Marion and Lolo. And so he's basically the one that connected me with, this is who you could trust, you know. Uh, talk to this person, talk to this person. And, you know, the thing is, is he told me and these other women a lot of stories, a lot of crazy stories. And they want to kind of twist all that around, but that's okay. Uh, are there more court cases in the works? Yes, there is. What has he actually been accused of? Um, gosh, that's a couple things that I can't really say. Um... Well, I guess it can. I mean, you all you all know that if you go to, uh, I said no to uh, Dr. Dean. That's one of them. Um, the other one, I'm not going to mention. But it, it has to do with DCFS. And there's a gag order on, on both these cases. So I, I, I know a lot about it. Um, but I can't say right now. And that's why I've been reluctant to come live. But I'm so sick and tired of these people talking about me and here's the thing i'm sick and tired of the fact that they keep putting my phone number out there and my phone is constantly getting called which is okay because the police are monitoring it and i am taking legal action on those that put my phone number up um you know my phone number is an unpublished number so for them to put it up with intent to cause harm which is what they did by the post that they attached to the picture of my phone number it is a crime. Alola said she recorded you and that you said so many awful things about the kids. And is this correct? Um, first and for foremost, Mary was the one that was real big on contacting uh, Lolo. And I did get put into a three-way call. Um, and I got kicked out of that call at one point. Um, Lolo never said that she was recording. That's, that's a false statement she made. She never said that she was recording the phone conversation, which is illegal, too. You know, it is what it is. Uh, can you tell us more about the court cases without breaking the gag order? Um, let's... Uh, gosh, Meg. Um, <laughs> I can tell you this. One of the court cases I have audio of. I have audio. Okay. Um, and the other one, I have spoken with detectives, so I know in great depth and detail what's going on. Um, let's see, what is he really accused of, and when will he be tired or tried for all the crimes he committed? Um, he has court coming up in a couple months, and, um... I was told, I was told that he is on um, OR, so he's out on OR right now. How often did Justin call and say in a day? Oh gosh, Justin called me four, five, six times a day and we text numerous times a day. I have all the call logs and all the text messages. Um, please tell us if what Marion said about Cora being charged with count B is Marion saying the truth. Marion's a liar. Marion needs to stop representing herself as a lawyer. She's not a lawyer. She doesn't live in the United States. She can talk all the rubbish she wants. Let's, let's ask Marion about when she came to the United States many years ago. Let's talk about that. And she wanted, she wanted somebody to sponsor her. And mass emails went around saying, don't sponsor this woman. Yeah. Marion's not a good person. Clearly, the dog almost uh, attacking her proves that. By the way, Madame P.I., that was the funniest video I've ever seen. Uh, what did Justin's mother want Justin to do to Cora? And what was her plans regarding the kids? What is your opinion about the mother? Honestly, I feel sorry for Justin's mom. 
Um, he doesn't send her pictures of the kids, she told me. Um, he doesn't tell her a lot. That's what she said. He doesn't tell her a lot. Um, I feel sorry for being a mom, okay? To such a scumbag. But she's not innocent in any of this either. Because she talks to a lot of these bloggers. Like Crystal and her were buddy-buddy for a long time, she told me. She said, Crystal brought so much to the table for me and Justin. And I said, what did she bring? And she goes, well, now that I think about it, nothing. He, he isn't capable of having full custody of those girls. There's no way. There's no way. You heard it there, my people. And there's a lot more to this audio as well. Sure, a lot of you have heard it by now. But as you can see, while Justina was out ringing in the new year with his new babe, things are out here on the streets of the Blue App unfolding about him or the conspiracy that he was all tangled up in with a whole bunch of women is what I call it that's coming to light and from what we also heard as well there's a court hearing coming up in the month of March and we're going to get to hear more about that don't know what it is but we're going to be on standby listening and waiting to see well to hear what that is all about see you guys in the next one